I found a perfect little lake up here in Washington that I'm going to take this lifetime tundra out. Rock solid. You can see here that the boat does track pretty well and I'm able to get a nice efficient stroke. Well, I have to say it, this tundra is comfy. Tons of room. I'm, I'm really well padded against here. Foot brace is adjusted really easy. I like that. It's tracking really well. Just perfect for this size of lake. Just cruise around. Foot brace adjust really quickly. You just can pull up right here. Or push down. Or pull up. Locks in. Aesthetically, the Tundra is a sharp looking boat. Really full featured for the cost. Paddle holder, super comfy seat, rod holders, nice little back hatch. As we look at this boat, you see that it actually has a front drain. And that's kind of nice because you can access up there through the front hatch to clean out debris after you've done draining. Rubber handles, always nice, quiet. This hatch is a pretty basic hatch, but it does give you access to this included pail and little tray. And you can slide in tools through that hole right there if you punch it out. Gaskets around it are going to keep it relatively dry. You've got a nice little phone holding tray up front, useful. And very well padded around the thigh region, and those aren't going to come undone because they're riveted in place. Foot braces are designed by Lifetime and worked really well, comfortable, barefoot or in shoes. You can basically just pull forward or push back into position, either using your hand or the handle. That's how they are installed. There's rubber washers there. The seat is mesh, really well contoured. Does have a paddle holder right here as well on the right side. Found that very comfortable. One thing I noticed is that it can slip up if you lean back, but I didn't see that as a huge issue. It's just basically secured in the back only. So it kind of has a recliner effect, but really adjustable with all the straps. There's probably a so you can just pull it for forward lean right there. Two rod holders, so it makes kind of a nice casual fishing kayak. This is a cool feature, just to write your name and number on the boat. Little tank well, self-draining, bungees, those go into those little holes. You know, they're not going to be 100% dry, but they'll work. And then a handle toward the back. As we look at the hull, it's got a nice uh, defined track to it, tracking channels and a good little V-hull keel to it. Those are the little kiss-offs for the seat. And then drain back there, and then it has the keel wheel. Well, I was just about to put the Tundra back in the rack here, and then I thought I would just quickly go through who do I think this kayak is great for. It's 10 foot two, 32 inches wide. A lot of capacity in this cockpit. So I think for anybody that's looking for comfort and the ability to pull up their legs and just a little more space in the cockpit for photo, fishing gear, it's going to be great. If you're a smaller paddler, you might want to sit it and just make sure that it's comfortable for you to make a nice stroke, even if it's in the sales floor. It is really full featured for what you get in the price. Nice padding, good, great adjustable foot pads. Uh, again, the seat is a frame chair and a 10 footer. That's kind of rare in the marketplace of entry level kayaks, price point kayaks. I do like that it's set up for kind of casual fishing, which is kind of how I fish. And uh, the hull really did paddle well. If you have other friends that have 10, 11 foot kayaks, you're gonna cruise right alongside of them. It is 52 pounds, but the stern wheel is gonna help you get it down to the ramp. And the neat thing about a 10 foot boat is that you can fit it into the back of the minivan, the back of the pickup truck or the SUV, and just really quickly get down to the water. So. In a 10 foot two kayak out of the market, I really think there's a lot to look at in this boat um, for that under $600 key price point. The Tundra has a lot to offer. You'll be able to see it this spring in stores like REI, Sportsman's Warehouse, and it'll probably be next to a few other models that may not have frame chairs. So yeah, get it down off the sh uh, shelf and give it a sit uh, seat in it because I think you'll find that seat really comfortable and a lot of extra space to move around and get at your photo or fishing gear or even bring a little dog or a child with you. At 275 pound capacity, five year warranty on it, made in the USA, really like what Lifetime did here and hope to see you out in the water this spring.